Hi everybody, welcome back to You Tips For You. Today I have 10 tips for you. 10 tips to make you look better, younger, more vibrant. 10 tips that are easy. You don't have, you can do them right away. Um, you know, it's not a diet and exercise tip where you have long periods of time. These are quick things that you can do to improve your look. This is great for moms out there because I know when you know you have children, you generally will put yourself last and your children always come first, so you don't spend a lot of time thinking about um, what you can do to update your look and things like that um, because you're spending so much time on your children. And um, of course, that's wonderful and it's great for the children, but once in a while, you need a little pampering too. And for my younger viewers, this is great too for you because these are all great tips to know, get growing older, um, showing your mom or your grandmom or anybody else that you think can benefit from them. So let's get started, okay? My 10 tips. The first tip is cut some bangs. Cutting bangs when you have, uh, doing a hairstyle where you have bangs actually makes you look more youthful. It covers any wrinkles that you might have on your forehead or frow lines. It will mask that and don't cut them real short and straight across anything like that. Keep them wispy, keep them soft, keep them side swept. It looks good on almost everyone and it really does lift your look. And by lifting your look and drawing attention to your eyes, um, you're giving yourself a more youthful appearance. My second tip for you is to highlight your hair. Putting some highlights around your face and throughout your hair, just scatter them a few, is a very youthful look, catches light, draws brightness to your face, really brightens up your look. Almost everyone can benefit from highlights. And I think that if you just do a few even, that makes a difference as well. That leads me to my third tip. My third tip is if you have any grays, color them. Um, you know, if you have a few grays, I mean, even girls in their 20s, guys in their 20s, people can have grays at a young age. Um, it's a hereditary thing. A little trick you can do, if you highlight your hair like me and you have a few little, one or two or three, a couple little grays, you can blend them with your highlights. All you have to do is highlight around them. Highlights will, gray hair uh, that's lost its pigment will not highlight. You can't do that. Gray hair can only be colored. You can deposit color on it, but you can't strip color away, which is what highlighting does. But you can blend it in as long as you can, if that's the kind of look that you can wear. If not, color your hair with semi-permanent color. Um, it washes out 28 days. The only time I would recommend you using a permanent color is if you want to dramatically change the color of your hair, or you have so many grays that a semi-permanent color will not cover too much, you know, when you're more than 50% of your hair is gray, semi-permanent won't work for you. It'll be too much upkeep. It won't grab on and um, you'll need to go switch to a, a permanent color then. Okay, so um, that leads me to talk about your eyebrows. If you've got any grays in your eyebrows, definitely cover them with eyeshadow or eyebrow pencil. You don't want those gray hairs popping out of your eyebrows. I don't see too many women with gray eyebrows. I see more men, um, and you know, men uh, look distinguished with some gray eyebrows, but ladies, we don't always like the gray eyebrows. So if you like your gray eyebrows, that's great, but if you want to do a little sprucing up, um, that's a suggestion that I have. Um, the, next, the next tip I have, um, which will brighten your look, is to wear pink lipstick. And I say that because when you get older and when you know you develop, if you develop any um, lines on your face or wrinkles or furrows and you, and you wear uh, a darker lipstick, first of all, it's thinning out your lips. And we all know that we like them to look as full as possible, um, which is, again, a nice look. It's a youthful look. It's a look that people desire. I mean, people are cosmetically altering their lips with, you know, enhancers and plumpers and Botox and things just to get that look. I'm not a big fan of that, but 
Um, you can achieve that with other makeup looks. And so pink lipstick is one of the ways you can brighten up your look. You have to find the right pink. And not all pinks are going to work with all skin tones. I find that pinks that have a bluish undertone to them will look best on a lot of people. It will cause you to have discolored looking teeth. Uh, a lot of pinks can make you look like you, your teeth are discolored because it's taking pigment away from your mouth. Um, and that leads me to my next tip, which would be to whiten your teeth. As we get older, and if you're a coffee drinker, or it's just time, your teeth can yellow or get stained. Um, sometimes it's more than just a whitening toothpaste can take care of. So, I recommend Crest White Strips. They are terrific, and... For those of you that need them, you can have whiter teeth in seven days, and you can pay attention to that. It's a, it's a quick thing to do. Um, be careful you don't get sensitivity from the hydrogen peroxide that's in that, and um, follow the directions on the box. It, you, you can get great results with it, just as good as if you went to a professional, a dentist, you know, to have that done. But um, whitening your teeth really does... Uh, brighten up your look, um, brighten up your smile. It's the first thing people see when they look at you is your smile, it's your mouth. Um, you can get a lot of mileage of looking good by having a nice smile, taking care of uh, that area on your body. Okay, so another tip about the lipstick. If you are one of the people that outlines your lip with a dark lip liner, I would recommend that you don't do that again because it narrows the lips, it draws attention. Anytime you put a dark lip color on, dark lip liner, you're bringing your face in. You're, it draws attention to any wrinkles that you have uh, on your face. Do a little experiment. Go, I'm sure you've got all kinds of colors in your drawer, so put a pink on, see how you look, and then put a dark color on and you'll see the difference. Look at your whole face. See how the light reflects. You'll see that it, it sort of highlights more of the areas of your face that are darkened, which are any lines that you might have on your face, or sunspots, things like that. If you haven't taken uh, care of your skin throughout the years, you know, you could have some sun damage. Um, and my next tip, which is tip number seven, is wearing a bronzer. Everybody looks great with a little color in their face. That's why I recommend a great tip is just to wear a little bronzer. And you don't have to find a real, you know, you don't have to load it on so that you look fake tan. Just a little bit gives you a little glow, brings out your highlights, brings out that pink lipstick a little, gives you a fresh look, um, just brightens up your face, just makes you look a little healthier, especially like in the wintertime. You know, you have to be careful. Always bring it down your neck as well because you don't want to have any contrast between your face and your neck. Often people forget about the neck area or maybe they thought they were going to wear a turtleneck today and they didn't. Even if you're wearing a turtleneck, there's still a portion of your neck that shows and underneath. Just hit that with a little bit with a bronze, with just a little dusting, just to give yourself that, you know, that little sparky look, that little brightening, um, and, and you really feel better about yourself. And when we think we look better, we actually, um, you know, we actually have more self-confidence. So my ninth tip for you has to do with clothing, and that is to buy jeans, a pair, if you want to buy one or two or whatever, but jeans that fit. And so often we're shopping, we see a good deal, it's maybe a great bargain, you grab a pair of jeans, they're really not the best look for your body, and everybody's body is different, and there are hundreds of jeans out there. I mean, jean makers have jeans that do all kinds of things, from lifting your rear end to, you know, their boot cut, all kinds of cut. I would say the most flattering are the boot cut. Straight legs sometimes are just too narrow at the base, kind of make you look a little hippie. Um, definitely get jeans that have a bigger pocket, because if you get jeans with a little pocket, guess what? Your butt looks bigger. So you'll want jeans with a bigger pocket. And hopefully, you know, not just a small little design in the middle. Anything like that can make your rear end look larger. And we always want our rear ends, hopefully, to look smaller if we can do that. So buy jeans that fit you. Um, you know, update your look a little bit. Pay attention to that because you're wearing them all the time. I mean, you're probably always throwing your jeans on, getting in the car, running out, taking your kids somewhere. Kids, when you go to school, you might... 
um, buy a pair of jeans that you think are trendy, but maybe just don't look that great for your figure, uh, because for whatever reason they're cut too low maybe, or maybe they ride down in the back, and you know, when you sit down you're exposed, you don't want that either. Um, you want them to fit nice, you want to look good in them, feel good. Take the time when you go shopping, leave yourself enough time so that you can focus on it. Uh, buying the right jeans does take time. Sometimes you have to try on several pairs of the same jeans because manufacturing differences, um, you know, they come out different. So you'll get to know, I guess, what brand works for you. And my tenth and final tip for you is to wear the proper bra. And that's something we don't always focus on. We gain weight, we lose weight, uh, you have children, your body changes. You really want a bra that's nice and smooth, so you can wear a tight shirt if you want, and it gives a smooth appearance. Um, you want a bra that fits you properly. You don't want excess flesh that's hanging out of it. You don't want to be able to reach up, and it rides up on you. You don't want to be spilling out of it so that you're uncomfortable or it's, it's looking too um, uncomfortable for your clothing. You want it to fit nicely. You want it to fit smoothly. You want to be comfortable in it. You want to cut off your circulation. So give some thought to that because the right bra gives you the right look. And then your, your, your tops look pretty and you look, you know, put together and smooth and contoured and comfortable. Most importantly, you want to be comfortable. So that is it for my 10 tips. I hope you enjoyed that. I gave that a, a lot of thought, things that I thought would really help uh, everyone, most people, from head to toe. And um, I always welcome your comments. Thanks so much for viewing. I hope you'll subscribe because I have so much more to come. And a lot of people write me that are new to YouTube and they're not sure where to subscribe. Most videos, the little subscribe button is to the right of the video in the, in the description box. Or if you go to my channel, it's right above on the top. This little yellow button that says subscribe. So I hope that helps everyone out there. And thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.